Evaluate the following expression for a real number x if x is not equal to 0. So in order to do this, we have to know the definition of absolute value. So recall that the absolute value of x is going to be equal to x. And this will be true if x is greater than or equal to 0. And the absolute value of x is going to be equal to negative x. And this will be true if x is less than 0. So in this problem, we just have to uh, do each one of these individually. Let's do the top piece first. So if x is greater than or equal to 0, we have x over the absolute value of x. And that's equal to, well, in this case, it's just going to be equal to x on the bottom. So it's x over x. And note, it can never be 0. So even though we're saying you know, greater than or equal to 0, it's not 0. So that case uh, will not occur. And then x over x is just 1. The other case is if x is less than 0. So in this case, the absolute value of x is equal to negative x. So we get x over, and then it's negative x on the bottom. That's going to give us negative 1. And that's it. That's the answer. If we like, we can write it in a nicer way. We can write this uh, as a piecewise function. So we put an equal sign and the little braces. And let's see. It's equal to 1. And this is true if x is greater than or equal to 0. And it's equal to negative 1. And this is true if x is less than 0. And so that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.